Sagittarius. Today is the day for fire signs. So you guys, uh, this is your reading for the fifth week of January 2021. You guys be sure to give this video a like and remember to comment down below your sign and your situation and also subscribe to the channel, ring the bell right next door, especially if that's something that you have been thinking about doing. All right, with all that being said, remember that these readings they are general readings, which means that you take the parts that resonate for you and, you know, leave the other parts for someone else. And if you'd like a reading that pertains specifically to you, you can get a private reading by checking the link in my description bar down below. That's just right down there. All right, you guys, we're starting off with a love message for this week. And a beautiful one at that. Okay. All right, so power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. You guys have the power to walk away from any sort of imbalances that you are finding in, in, in a connection this week. You're getting your power. You're getting back your power in a particular connection as well. So you're becoming more empowered and you're not gonna put up with certain things this week that you possibly maybe used to put up with. So we have look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. From this person, this person just wants to tell you that they love you very deeply and that nothing will ever change that. And that their feelings for you run so deep like it's like being inside of an ocean. Like the card says, it's like being deep, deep, like <laughs> past, you know, the fourth layer of water. <laughs> that's their feeling. Um, that's the feeling that their heart has whenever they're with you. So you're gonna be feeling a lot more empowered in this connection. Like you can affect change. I feel like things are also manifesting in your life that are directly indicating how powerful you are. So stay tuned for those. And there is a positive energy of someone really liking you a lot more than you previously thought. And so they, somebody could be coming forward and letting you know how they truly feel about you. Or it could be a bunch of people coming forward and letting you know how they really feel about you. Um, especially if you have social media, you know, there could be a few people hitting up those DMs this week and, you know, whoever is hitting up those DMs, they're valid for those of you guys who are inquiring and who are single. And so you have the power to go for whatever it is that you want in love. Now, So the love, the message of love this person has for you this week is retreat as well. So this person, they might be retreating from the world for a little bit. And this is just like a little bit of time. This person also wants to retreat from the world with you too. So they wanna go away with you and they're gonna be telling you that. Okay, so this person's weak. We just kind of got into it. I do wanna get um, a look at the focus. I'm gonna pull one card just before I pull before I start reading the tarot cards. <sighs> okay, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So this person is this week they're focused on a past life connection. I feel like there's some past life karma that is playing out in this connection this week. You will literally see it, Sagittarius, come to pass, but it feels like past life karma for a lot of you guys in, in an actual past life, but for some of you guys, it is also in this past life. You guys had a past life together with this person. They could be bringing up the past this week, all right? So this person wants to bridge the gap and they wanna make amends for something. And I feel like they're gonna be doing that. So they're really happy, coming in very happy this week, wanting to make amends. And I feel like you guys, if there have been arguments, 
disputes, the disputes will be resolved. Um, something really goes in a very positive direction. This, week, this connection is, is very much looking up and this person's really looking, like feeling very positive about the impact that they're having in this relationship and also in the events that are unfolding in this relationship. So they're celebrating something with you this week and they're celebrating some sort of justice that you're receiving, they're receiving, that this connection is receiving. It could be good karma from a past life that they're receiving. And so they're celebrating it. They just feel like things are going the way that they should go. And they're very comfortable with the way that things have been. I feel like this person, they have kind of been withdrawn and it's because of their, their comfort zone like whenever they're triggered, they go into their comfort zone, something triggered them. And they're very happy about something that is happening in this relationship. And it's justice for this connection. <clears throat> now, this person, they were celebrating this because, you know, in the past, they felt trapped. They felt like they couldn't speak up. They couldn't say something to you. And I feel like this is also, in, you know, has to do with communication. You guys are having a conversation that brings peace to or resolves the conflict or brings peace to a situation that is very healing for them, okay? And there's also some news that someone is receiving as well. So in the recent past, this person was very committed to this connection. They learned a very deep lesson, but this person was very committed to you, um, Sagittarius. They were very devoted and this devotion earned them a very serious lesson. It, it, it earned them many rewards as well and higher up ranking. So, you know, you know, this person was so devoted to you that you may have, you know, been really interested in getting to know them more and taking this connection further. And this was something that this person was really happy about because they were extremely devoted to you. I'm hearing Gemini, but Sagittarius, this person was is, is still very extremely devoted to you. And they were. And through this time of being very loyal, and um, I'm hearing callous though, they learned a lesson about victory, about not giving up, but also about, you know, about victory and being confident in themselves. So they learned something. And this was a victory that came through in their life. Okay. And it's a new beginning. This person has a new beginning in a past life connection or in the past life. They feel like this connection is from a past life for them. And so they feel like now they're having this new beginning with you. But there's something like it's very spiritual with an emotional. Well, it's emotional, but it's very spiritual what this person had underwent in the recent past in this connection. But the devotion deepened. Definitely, this person became a lot more devoted. They could have had to spend some time alone and do spending some time alone, spending some time away from you, retreating from you. They were, you know, getting a lot of divine insights and learning a lot of things about themselves. And this gave them the, the chutzpah to keep going and to feel confident in themselves, to trust. They found, they realized that they had no reason to mistrust this connection. So they're coming in now so happy. And it's because they're realizing just how trapped they were before. Now, I, I, am, I am getting a sense that there is more to come in this person's realizing, like there's so much more to come for, for this connection and in this person's um, mindset, like for them to realize certain things um, about possibly why they do things. So maybe certain fights and arguments that are picked, it's picked because this person feels trapped, limited, like they can't do anything about the situation. And when this person starts to realize more and more their power and more and more that they're not stuck, they are able to breathe more life into the connection and more love into the connection. And they actually see the longevity of life. This person has a hard time seeing like life, like the longevity of life. They kind of have a short term way of looking at things and they don't see that things actually go longer, you know? Kind of traumatizing you know this person might have had some trauma that led them to be that way so now they're sitting in their heart this person is open and, and ready and free and loving you they're expressing their emotions very deeply and they are also coming in and giving you a very heartfelt gift they're giving you a gift that is straight from their heart
And they're giving you this because I feel like you guys have asked for this. This is something that this person has been thinking about doing for you. And now they're, they're bringing, they're doing it for you. They're bringing it in for you. All right. So they are really thinking a lot about themselves, especially I'm hearing this person's a Scorpio. They're thinking about themselves and how they feel and their feelings for you. But this person, they're thinking about expressing and they really want to express and show you how they really, really, really feel about you. The love that they have for you is um, very intrinsic. It's, 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 they, it's not expressed as much because this person has a lot of anxiety that covers it, but their love for you is so deep that it's so deep that nothing, it's just very deep. Like you like shaking your head would be like not fully understanding what I am trying to express to you of this person's feelings. <laughs> Doing this and being, I don't know. That's not, I'm not able to get that across because their, their love is very deep, but, and it's very passionate, it's red hot but it's covered by all this anxiety and fear. And, and I also feel like emotion, like, yeah, but it's covered by all this anxiety and fear and fear of the unknown, fear of the unknown. And it's, it's reminiscing on their feelings and their love for themselves and their love for you that is giving them the strength to break out of a karmic cycle. There is a karmic cycle that this person's coming out of, but they are needing strength for something and it's to take action and go towards something and get something. And it feels like it's something in this connection that they previously have told themselves that they had no power. Like this person felt very like, not like they didn't have the power to fix whatever this is like genuinely, or they didn't have the power to overcome this, take this action, see themselves in a broader light Heal this inner child. I feel like their inner child is what needs healing because this person's inner child has, cons has is the one who, who took the, the brunt of that disappointment that now they're needing to overcome. Like it's really amazing, but it was a disappointment in love. It was a disappointment that really turned their heart kind of cold, if not very cold, or made them a bit of an ice queen, Sag. So they're, they're I, I feel like they're starting to recognize how much love they really have around them. Like that the love and the family and the soul family is right here, right now. And that's why the energy is on past life. This is, this is very karmic, actually not kind of karmic. It's very karmic. I just realized I'm looking at justice on this table, all these cards. It's very, very karmic actually. Um, but this person realizing that they have good karma and that, that this is good karma. I feel like this person in a past life, they believed that, you know, they believed in things that were not very positive about themselves or about life or things that were limiting or just made them feel bad about themselves. And this, the reason why this past life energy is showing up is so that in this new life, they can live in a space of love as opposed to a space of whatever they were living in before. So sitting in this energy of their heart and their love and having that strong desire to have their dreams and the emotions that they feel inside of them manifest externally, you know, it's actually giving them power to take the action that they need to take. And the action that they need to take is just seeing true potential in something, like seeing the true potential. And that's why I feel like it was something childhood so if you're wondering about what has caused this situation for this person that they're now having to free themselves from, it is very deep. It's very emotional. I feel very emotional from this person. This person is in a very emotional state uh, and doing a lot of healing and very close to, you know, divine guidance and coming back into their power, getting that strength like we talked about. So their future energy is expressing the love that this person feels for you. Expect a message of love, a true heartfelt message of love. Also, even a gift, a very sentimental gift. Um, there's so many possibilities to what this person is giving you, but there's something from their heart. 
it is a it is a it is a loving gift from their heart and it is a deep expression and it's around their value for you like they're expressing their value for you and, and this gift whatever they're giving you it is also showing you that they are they acknowledge they're acknowledging that they didn't always value you. They're acknowledging that they didn't always do the right thing. Or they didn't always take action knowing their true potential. Or knowing the true potential of this connection. This is a this is a this is an apology. This is something from someone's like pure, pure heart. It's like a kid. You don't want everybody looking at your kid and you don't want everybody near your kid. So if someone is trusting you with their child or tr trusting you around their kid, that is very, that means that they really, really trust you. And so if someone is exposing their inner child like this, opening up their feelings, then you can trust that this person really, really is being genuine and being very intimate with you. There is a very lovely um, attempt or effort this person is going to make to you this week it's very sweet and extremely heartfelt it is so sweet all right so okay and it's because this person they really want to resurrect things with you they want to they want to bring back the lighthearted energy and the lighthearted times they're coming from an extremely pure place like it's just someone who just they didn't know better like you know, I know you're like, I'm an adult, you know, they, you know, they should know better if you're an adult, <laughs> but you know, who's, who, what is an adult? Like we're all kids in adult bodies. We're all kids in like different bodies. And we're like, how did we even get here? Like, this is weird. Like, I guess we can like read books about it, but like in reality, like all of a sudden we're just this way. So that is a reason why someone could you know, be so naive, but in such a major kind of silly way for some of you guys, but also in in a way of not seeing the potential of something or not see, taking something for granted in, in any way, right? But in whatever way this person did. And they want to make amends and they don't want to sit with those, you know, sad emotions anymore. They want to usher in positivity in this connection again. They want that lighthearted energy. And that's why I feel like you may be wondering about this person and wondering about whether or not they want this, this, I'm hearing friendship again, but I'm hearing relationship. So you guys could be in a relationship with this person and they, maybe you guys are together and you guys are lovers or whatever, or you guys are just there for each other, but maybe there's not enough companionship. You guys don't talk enough and you guys probably used to talk a lot before. Um, but I feel like life got in the way and life just happened and this person, they forgot what really mattered to them for however long that they did. And now they are coming, they're genuinely, purely being like, yo, I want to make this, make amends and make this right. You fix this. Here's this wonderful opportunity to make this right or to do whatever this is. Because it doesn't even feel like an argument. It just feels like some sort of area in their heart that they've disconnected from that they are now seeing the pathway to reconnect to it and, but it was always there right but you know, that's the moral of the story but isn't it always always there right <laughs> okay so that's the beautiful energy that this person is sh showing you this week and this is what they're bringing into this connection and very very soon you need to believe that this message this gift this emotional exchange this sentimental heartfelt um offer and gift is coming very, very soon for you, Sagittarius. All right, so let's have a look at you guys. There is a cycle in this relationship that is now completing, and you're now getting the strength that you need to um, you know, believe more in this connection, to stop shutting each other out. I feel like you guys, you really shut each other out a lot when you don't need to, and it's because you worry to you go to yourself and you, you don't really process those worries, but you're overcoming those fears of abandonment. And so are they, but they had their own fears in a different way. So I feel like you were really trusting in the recent past. You just said, whatever, like, I'm just gonna trust in the situation. I'm just gonna trust in um, like, I'm just gonna trust in this relationship. I'm just gonna trust in life. 
you are you are just doing you, Sag, and we're going to look deep, deeply into that. And so in your conscious thoughts, you're really standing your ground when it comes to whatever it is that you want to see manifest. Uh, and I feel like in the near future, you're really going to be healing um, a energy in which you felt frustrated and shut out. And it's because of a choice that you make to not shut yourself out. Like this person and you are doing the same thing. So this, this allows you the perfect chance to come out of, it doesn't feel like the cold with this person, but it feels like come out of anger, come out of frustration, come out of like feeling like you can't compete with this person or that this person is out of your league or something along those lines. Like there, it feels like there is a little bit of energy of paranoia and of feeling like, oh, I'm not quite, I can't, I can't do, you know, nah, like, nah, we can bowl in the same league, you know, and that confidence is coming back because you're overcoming that fear of abandonment. Okay, so a very gorgeous reading, expect a beautiful, delightful offer, gift from this person. It's very sentimental, very heartfelt this week and a new cycle of love in this connection. Oh, I, I did say I was gonna look into this uh, new beginning energy for this person, or sorry, for you in this connection. And you just really were trusting, okay? You were trusting in yourself, Sag. Yeah. And you found something that you didn't wanna let go of. And it's because you saw victory in it, okay? And so I feel like this connection, it's coming out of a phase of the initial phase or a, a one phase. And now it's coming into a phase of abundance and prosperity. There are new things that will blossom in this connection now um, as a result of this cycle of completing. And so now in the near future, we have you understanding, understanding, understanding something about when competition comes about and what it what it means to be shut out really you know so it is a very positive abundant prosperous week i am very very happy for you guys god bless you sagittarius that is your reading for this week we will talk next week be sure to follow my other socials and we'll talk next time bye bye <laughs>